and welcome back to All Things Defender. Today, big problem. Um, trying to change the slave cylinder on the clutch while it's all out. Um, and I've accidentally pulled this little push rod out from the little lever here. Uh, there's a small little plastic clip on the back. Um, goes in there. And as I was trying to uh, push the slave cylinder in and out, get it all lined up, this little lever has come off. Um, and I think the only way to do it, um, get it back on, is to remove this again. The transfer box and the gearbox. So I can get back into the bell housing just there to put the lever back on. So after taking many days, putting that all together, it's coming out again. So as you can see, strapped up the gearbox and the transfer box with some straps. I've put a hydraulic jack underneath the gearbox transfer box to take the weight of it. So hopefully um, just remove all the bolts, which again, I've already done the bolts around the front of the bell housing there um, and the drive shafts already off both sides there and there. So hopefully we can just slide that box back slightly and get into the bell housing and put that little lever back on. Um, if not, I'm gonna to have to take it all out. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Right, there it is, gearbox and transfer box is out. I've just rested it on the chassis there um, with a big crane. Um, so the offending little article is that little lever there, the little, little plastic clip. Probably can't even see it. Um, just in there, you saw it earlier. Uh, it's a little clip in there. Um, all we've got to do now is clip that little lever back on there and put it all back together again. Um, That'll probably be measured in days, not hours. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. So there's the little clip. Uh, you can see it's in now. Uh, it's got two little spring clips out there. That's what just pulled through. Those two little clips, you can see there, the plastic little bits there, had just pulled through that little slot. So that lever had come off. Um, that's the only issue it was. Um, but it's taken hours to correct. Uh, so let's put it all back together again. Right, there it is, all in place. Slave cylinder, little lever, and right back there, the offending little plastic clip, which now hopefully won't come off. Right, and now all we need to do is line that back up with the clutch. Um, got it on the crane, you can see it's swinging. So the idea now is just to turn it 90 degrees, drop it down, and it will just slide in nicely. So let's see, let's see if it actually works. All right, as you can see, I've got two jacks underneath it. So hopefully getting the angle front to back, and the crane's just taking the weight. Been doing it about 10 to 15 minutes and it's still not going in. Let's carry on. Finally. Three hours, just to line that up. That's uh, rather difficult, but I do have a little confession to make. I did buy new studs to put in. Um, in the actual casing, there's more thread holes than holes in the casing. I had one extra stud in, which at the bottom, which I couldn't see. Um, so obviously it was never gonna go on. Just taking that out, and it's taken me 10 minutes to line it up. Um, so there's a little lesson. If you put in one of these on, there's an extra thread hole in the actual casing on the engine mount. Um, don't put a stud in it. Finally, the gearbox and transfer box is back in. All the drive shafts, the prop shafts, all nicely tightened up. They're all in there. Uh, the exhaust mount, the transfer mounts, the to the chassis, all tightened up. All we need now to do is reconnect the slave cylinder to the clutch, which is buried under there. Get to that, um, to the bonnet. Sorry, I got it out. 
So let's go to the bonnet and try and connect that back up. And then hopefully the Land Rover will move. Finally, all done. Just put the oil in the uh, transfer box in the gearbox. Um, the clutch, um, I actually went underneath. You can just see one little pipe there, a little silver pipe. Uh, that's why I had to connect up. I actually crawled underneath to do that. So that's all done. The clutch is bled. Um, so the next thing to do, attach the battery and I'm going to start it up. So I'll finish this one now and I'll do a short video um, next week or so actually starting it up. Uh, so please subscribe and keep watching and uh, finally the Land Rover will run again.